what's happening? As you guys know, earlier in the week, Tuesday, 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 I uploaded a video saying I was giving up on <laughs> adding a drive to my computer, uh, but it's now working, so here's the video of how to fix what I did wrong. Well, not really what I did wrong, but the workaround. <clears throat> hey, so so as you guys know, um, I had a bit of a snafu by trying to install a SATA-based M.2. There it is, right there in the picture. Um, SSD drive to my computer. Now, the reason for this, the main reason for this, is for editing video. That's why I need this drive. Um, this will help me out with editing quite a bit and playback. Um, now, the issue here is, is that I ordered a SATA drive instead of a PCI Express M.2 drive. And here I am unboxing the adapter that I ordered from Best Compute. Uh, from overseas or whatever. I'm not really sure where this company is based. I don't, I don't know them. I don't have anything to do with them. Um, but basically, this is an adapter that will allow me to insert the drive, the hard drive, into this card and then be able to put it into the, the PCI Express slot, then adapt a set uh, and then adapt, then add a SATA cable to it. So there you go. There it is installed. A little step out screw and all that kind of stuff is all really, really basic. Um, so obviously I didn't really shoot very uh, like video of doing that. But here's here it is installed in the slot. There's two different slots on it. One's for M and then one's for B and M. Um, as B as in Brian um, and B and M as in BM. You know what I'm saying? Um, so there's two different sides that you can install this on. Uh, I obviously put it on the side that it's supposed to be on. Um, now... I installed it this way and then uh, of course I go to get the SATA cable out and it's red and black and I don't want it to be red and black um, I want it to be black and white which is the interior theme with red light is the, is the theme of the inside of my computer so people ask hey what is that red thing in the background uh, that's the uh, that's my computer it's well lit with red lights obviously I have uh, a bunch of overhead lights right here while I take the side off and show you the um, uh, the removal of the um, the other card adapter that I had wouldn't work with the SATA card. It would work with PCI Express. So I could pop it into PCI Express if I had an M, as in Michael, um, basically like end of the M.2 hard drive. If I had that type, I could just plug it right in there. Now, the issue with that is, is that those drives uh, currently are about two to three times the price of the... Uh, B and M uh, SATA drives, so there's the only issue. Um, so the uh, the best compute adapter was uh, 14 bucks, and then the actual drive itself was like 70 bucks instead of uh, you know 200. And, I think they were about 215 bucks, somewhere in that range. To I think the cheapest one I found was 189 was a similar drive with the same amount of size. Obviously, it's only 240 gig drive uh, once it's formatted it's 256 but then once you format it you only get 200 um, 240 gig space out of it but it's plenty of space for what I need to do um, I have a container with all of the cords around so I grab my cable that's gonna match uh, the other cable and go ahead and install this little it's pretty much plug-and-play once you have uh, it set up properly uh, I thanks to a lot of people that helped out um, with um, commenting on the last video of trying to set this up um, yes, I had gone through the BIOS. I'd gone through all the things and tried to do this software-wise. It was a hardware issue because the Asus uh, 99X motherboard doesn't read SATA M2 drives. Uh, don't ask me why. I've flashed the BIOS. I've gone through all that stuff. It hasn't seemed to be a big enough issue for them to address it software-wise. And, uh, you know, I don't code for those guys, so I'll be damned if I'm going to sit there and try and go through that code and try and figure out how to do that myself. Um, I probably could, uh, but it'd be a huge waste of time, um, and I would probably end up losing my mind in the process. So it turned out this was a, a hardware fix was going to be the best bet. Now here we go into BIOS here. It's obviously sped up um, in a time-lapse version, and now there it is. There it is. It's identifying the drive, and then I'm going to go into Windows <clears throat> after this. Uh, I'm just clicking through some of the tuning 
stuff in the BIOS and but after that I'll go into Windows into disk management and there it is uh, in the uh, disk manager it shows right up in there now that was the the hardware issue was the problem and there's Vicky Vicky says hi she's in the uh, background of my computer as you can see there uh, but as I go to disk management here it worked there it is shows right up um, this was not happening before <laughs> and uh, trying to do it software wise was not working out very well for me I can only really put a certain amount of time into this kind of stuff but uh, speaking of putting a certain amount of time into this stuff is that uh, this will certainly speed up my video editing process and being able to process videos which uh, like I, I put in the SD card reader I'm able to um, once I'm done videoing uh, you know videoing all the stuff that I'm doing I can just download right in and then I can read and write off of this hard drive um, without messing with any of my programs um, and then the uh, the mass storage drive that I have that's a four terabyte drive uh, the read write time on it is pretty slow so it has problems do using uh, Sony Vegas which is what I have now um, and no I cannot afford the uh, new uh, the new Vegas 14 that has come out which uh, I have kind of high hopes for that to be in a decent program um, I thought it was going to be around the $200 price point it dropped the other day at eight hundred dollars so um, I realistically cannot wrap my mind around paying eight hundred dollars for a piece of software but as you can see here the read write times are about the same as a SS a standard SSD drive that is the only downside to adapting it in this way but for me that is gonna work out perfectly that is not um, a low enough read write time to affect anything and actually be a significant boost to my editing and uh, being able to record and all that kind of stuff um, will be a serious boost in the future so that's what's going on today now it's time to go work on the fish tanks and I got a painting coming up a uh, painting video coming up fairly soon that's it for today happy Thursday out there everybody I right, later